Formula 1 engines are really hard to daily drive, prone to break off and due to the high strain, and most notably, they are extremely expensive. They also need to be warmed up before they are started, so yeah, living with them is quite a pain in the ass. There are however some cars which receive these complex units. Not many, but all worth a note. Porsche Carrera GT The Carrera GT may have been developed only because of a secret engine, built by Porsche many years before the actual supercar was even planned. The company was engineering an F1 engine for a British racing team called Footwork, but was shelved rather than used. For an initial concept, it was enlarged to 5.5 liters and then to the final 5.7 liter installed in the production model. Ferrari F50 A 1990 Ferrari 641 Formula 1 car was an engine donor for the F40 successor. It is a well-known thing that the F50 was slower than the F40, but its engine was truly based on an F1 unit with 60 valves. Its engine displacement went from 3.5 up to 4.7 liters to improve its torque and drivability. The F50 never raced, but that didn't stop Ferrari from creating the F50 GT with 720 atmospheric horsepower. Alfa Romeo 164 Pro Car Since the BMW M1 Pro Car, F1 drivers used to battle each other in this BMW before the actual F1 race started. As the Munich car was discontinued, a new one was requested for the Formula 1 Prelude, and the only one to exist was the Alfa Romeo 164 Pro Car. It resembled the 164 model, but it was an F1 car under the body. It used Alfa's first V10 ever built but never raced in the Formula 1. Production of the exciting Alfa Romeo 164 Pro Car, driven by Riccardo Patrese in a brutishly fast V10 engine machine, ended up looking exactly like a standard Alfa Romeo 164, yet capable of 200 miles per hour. Renault Espas F1 being sold for 10 years already by then, Renault decided to celebrate 10th birthday of the Espas by putting the F1 V10 engine in it. They were successful in the Formula 1 series, so why not? The Renault RS5 unit was therefore installed in the Espas and interestingly enough, it had higher top speed partially because of the higher power upped from 700 horsepower. Ford Supervan 3 The Supervan 3 was already the third transit, reshaped into a kind of a racing body. This one was made at the beginning of the new generation, thus helping to promote the new product. Unlike versions before, the Supervan 3 first received an F1 engine named the Cosworth HB previously found in the Benetton B193B. Later it was swapped for a 3 litre V6.
Yamaha OX9911. As Yamaha got into Formula 1 in 1989 as an engine supplier, they also thought that it would be a good idea to detune the OX99 engine a little and while still pushing 400 horsepower, cramp it into a light carbon fiber body sports car. Their financial situation was what prevented this crazy supercar to be production made. <laughs> Mercedes AMG Project 1 According to the rumors, this is going to be worth the wait. The Project 1 by AMG is said to have the current Mercedes F1 power plant, of course with detuned power. The red line is also coming down from 15,000 to 11,000. A crazy thing about it is that it is going to withstand only 30,000 miles before an overhaul, which still sounds like a lot considering it is an F1 unit. The combustion engine is going to work in conjunction with a few electric motors. BMW 1502 Looking at the specs, you gotta be asking yourself how this is a Formula 1 engine. Some might have the clue that this is the BMW M10 engine, the gloriously famous F1 engine from 1986, which was making 1500 horsepower from 1.5 liters. Such a power was only available during qualifications, and it could last a few laps at most. It is a completely revamped engine, but the engine block was the same as in the production car. On a, on a quick one now, he's already improved his time dramatically, making himself up into fifth place with a 